Hello creators and crafters and welcome to another episode of Alley Crafts. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to upcycle a boring pants hanger into an attractive picture display. Unique photo displays are definitely trending right now. A lot of people are looking for fun and creative ways to hang pictures without breaking the bank. Frames not only can be quite costly to buy in quantity, but typically only come in square, rectangle, circle, or oval. So if you're looking for something unique or even just really affordable, consider using hangers. Let's begin. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean those hangers. So I just grabbed some acetone and these cotton swabs here to wipe them down with and a microfiber cloth so it doesn't leave any residue. It's gonna clean up all the dust. So here we are, just wiping them down and cleaning them, getting in all the cracks and crevices because you want to make sure that there's no factory oil or grease on these products. You don't know where they've been. They were in a factory. So just make sure you get them nice and clean. Doing this should definitely help the paint adhere and make sure that if anything scrapes up against it, it doesn't scrape off as easily. Now what I'm doing is I'm just lining the hangers up and covering the wood part with this cardboard because taping them off just seemed like too much work and not everybody has tape, but everybody has at least some type of paper around the house. I'm using Krylon Fusion 4 plastic hammered finish and I'm gonna show you right here what the cap looks like. This is the final product, but again, it's on little pieces of metal, so it kind of looks like that. So just spray away guys and make sure that you get all up in the cracks and the crevices. Maybe whenever you're done spraying it for the first time, stand at the other side on the top side and just keep on spraying and make sure you get it as good as you can. Finally, the sanding portion. This is kind of like the icing on the cake. The sheen was really unattractive and it definitely didn't add to the vintage look. And you can see here, there's a little bit of overspray. So you're just gonna wanna sand away, guys. And when I say sand, I mean literally as hard as you can, as rough as you can, sand it. Use a high grit sandpaper, whatever you want to use as sanding material. Sand as much as that sheen off as possible. And I would definitely suggest sanding around the edges here because you might see those. And definitely don't bother sanding the back because it's just going to lean up against the wall and your hands are probably gonna be cramping by the time you get to the third, fourth, or even fifth hanger, just depending on how fast your hands cramp. And mine cramp pretty fast. So I just only, sand it down the areas that you see or would just potentially be visible from standing at different angles around the hangers. And just keep on sanding rough as you can. Super fast time lapse for you guys because this was an incredibly boring portion but extremely rewarding. So don't skip this part sand as much as you can. If you like the color of the wood, then of course you can leave it, but the best part about the fact that it's wood is you can completely customize it to any color with stain. If you don't wanna restain it to a new color, you can paint it, you can decoupage it, put stickers on it, cover it in rhinestones, or my personal favorite is you could dip it in glitter. But whichever you choose, just do something that's perfect for you. Now just go back and make sure you got all of the sheen off with the sandpaper. I missed a couple of spots because there was a lot of sheen on these particularly. But yeah, I'm just going back and making sure it's all off because the vintage look I'm going for, I don't really want any bit of that like polish left on there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself a clean cloth and wipe down the hangers extremely well. You just wanna verify that they do look the way you want them to look and you got all of the polish off that you wanted to get off, which for me was basically most of it. Now we are at the finish line where we're going to put in the pictures. Make sure you don't open it because as you can see here, I did and it scraped off the paint because it was paint on rubber. So yeah, definitely don't open it. You just wanna kinda pinch it open with your dirty fingernails as mine are. You can see I definitely got spray paint in there. Oopsie. So just slide them in. And of course guys, you don't have to do it perfect at first. Just slide them in really well and then you can kinda tug them and adjust them. You can put horizontal or landscape in there. Portrait, yeah, portrait, landscape, whichever you prefer. 
both work, but that's the two pictures that I chose and voila. Now let's hang them. As for hanging the hangers, you have a couple of options. You can use a simple nail, cup hooks, command adhesive hooks if you're in an apartment and don't wanna put holes in the wall, decorative coat hooks, or you can make your own hook. Depending on the look you wanna go for or how decorative you want the hook to be, or even how affordably you want your project to be, any option works great. So really, you just gotta do you, do what you like best. Really, it's all about how you want it to look, so buy what you want. And there you have it, the final product. I like to think that it's pretty cool. It has more of an industrial vibe. It's definitely something you don't see every day, something that could possibly be you know, one of those things you just talk about when your friends come over, you can show them what you did. The before, not so impressive. And then the after right here, definitely very impressive. Even if you don't wanna hang pictures in them, you can hang art in them, you can hang kids' paintings in them, you can hang some interesting documents in them or some poetry. Thanks so much for watching. Now go craft something awesome.